Hi guys, this is Eric Toll with Fresh Talk on location at 5801 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today we are doing a little political piece and we have our Pennsylvania representative Erin Mulchaney with us today and she's going to discuss a little bit of what's going on with some uh, political actions that we have. So thank you for being with us. Oh, I'm thrilled to be here. Thank you. And she is our 22nd legislative uh, representative in the Allegheny County. So she's very local here in the Allegheny County area and a little more hands on what's going on in this area in the Pittsburgh area. Um, so, how did you get started in politics? Well, you know, I worked in the nonprofit sector for about 12 years. I started women's health care, and that's where I first kind of realized that government has a very profound impact on people's lives in a personal way. And, you know, I wasn't always happy with the decisions that were being made, and I looked at who was making them, and I didn't, I didn't see any women. And I thought, you know, here's a really important opportunity for us to change the conversation and shift the conversation a little bit. So, it was really my time in the nonprofit sector that inspired me to run for public office. Okay, and you did a lot of work with um, Planned Parenthood and women's rights throughout, uh, you know, your time with the nonprofits. Um, how has that really helped you with your views on how you do your political stances? Well, you know, my time at Planned Parenthood, it was the most, some of the most rewarding years of my professional life. And, you know, it taught me a little bit about empathy. You know, you will never walk in someone else's shoes, but it is so, so important that we protect people's rights. Um, you know, reproductive health care is so personal and so um, must be protected. Uh, there's so much going on right now at the state and the federal level um, that's an assault on women's rights. And it's just so important that there are women at the table standing up for women. Absolutely. I completely agree with you. And I'm, gl I'm glad that you're doing that because women's rights are a huge deal in this country. Um, and also, you know, we have to, because we're on Gay Life Television, you know, we have to do LGBT rights, you know, and obviously those also fall in the category of women's rights as well. Um, and it, lately there's been a lot of go things going on with, you know, the Marriage Equality Act. Um, so tell us a little bit of uh, your stance on that and how you're involved with that. Well, I think just to kind of go back to Planned Parenthood for a minute, you know, Planned Parenthood, um, we did, obviously we focused on women's health care, but equality and LGBT health was a large part of our, our mission and what we tried to do as well and what we tried to provide. And, you know, that's where I became an ally and that's where I first learned about the importance of supporting equality for anyone, regardless of your age, race, um, gender, sexual orientation. It's just so important that we're all treated equally. And so I really do credit that time in my professional life for, um, you know, making me an advocate, making me an ally, and, and helping me understand that. So um, here we are today. Yeah. So. And no, it's great to have you as an ally. I mean, you know, in this fight, I mean, we really are. We're still in a movement, just like women's right movement, yeah. you know. Everything that we do right now is really making a difference to help, you know, these progressive groups. Um, but, you know, you talk about different rights, um, especially for women and LGBT rights. Now, recently, you know, in our Pittsburgh area, in the Lawrenceville area, um, we had what is being alleged as a hate crime. Um, what actions are you a part of, you know, when you're representing these bills and acts that are going to help prevent this? Because you talked about all these different things, and one of the things that are not mentioned in it is, you know, sexual orientation to protect these rights. So what, what, what are you involved in that's going to help that? So first, let me just say that what happened here in Pittsburgh is, is just um, horrible and should never happen to anyone. No citizen of anywhere in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania deserves to be a victim of a hate crime anywhere in the United States. And it's important that the Commonwealth get up to speed and really implement some sort of um, hate crimes legislation to prevent anyone from feeling that they're, like, they're victimized in that way. Um, one of the things that I'm working on, and I've co-sponsored uh, House Bill 300, which is uh, non LGBT non-discrimination legislation. Um, we currently have no protections for um, LGBT citizens regarding employment, um, housing, um, and it really it needs to be in place. It needs to be put in place. Nobody should be discriminated against in that way. Um, I also signed on recently to the marriage equality bill. Um, you know, again, big big supporter of equality. I feel like everybody should have the right to live their lives in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and nobody should be persecuted for who they love. I absolutely agree, and I mean that's that's why we're all in this fight together. And you know, recently I saw a um, a posting um, on the American Family Association site. They have been actually asking people to oppose this bill. What's something that you think would be a great way to let our audience know um, how they can be helpful in fighting this and how they can help this movement move forward? Well, you know, House Bill 300 is right now poised to move. Um, 
House Bill 300, I know you're going to talk to Representative Brian Sims soon, and Representative Dan Frankel is supposed to appear or come tonight as well. He's the prime sponsor. House Bill 300 um, is probably one of the most bipartisan uh, pieces of legislation we currently have in the House in regards to um, LGBT non-discrimination and, and LGBT rights and equality. This has a chance of moving. We need everybody to contact their legislator. And, you know, Representative Sims mentioned something earlier I think is really important is that you can't assume that your legislator opposes you. You have to reach out because they probably haven't been asked. They probably haven't been asked to co-sign. They probably haven't been asked to support it. It's important that you call your legislator, your elected officials at the state level and say, you know what, I support LGBT equality. I support LGBT rights. Um, that's, I think, probably the best thing that we can do right now um, is to reach out to whomever represents you. I, you know what, I completely agree. I mean, that, that in itself is kind of a call to action to the viewing community. I mean, they may not know. Sometimes the biggest issue in our country is lack of education. People may not know or they may not have been asked. They're not always looking at that. They have different platforms. So sometimes you need to ask them to come on board in a way that can be helpful for your cause. So remember, every person counts, especially when it comes to politics. I mean, we bring these people in to represent us, and obviously we have you representing us. And <laughs> I'm happy to. And you know, I, I'm, I'm proud to be able to do this interview with you because you are doing such great work. And it, it's just amazing that, you know, you're doing such supportive work. I mean, it's huge for women's rights. I grew up in a very female dominated family, yeah. so uh, believe me, I am very pro women. Um, but as far as, you know, my sexuality, yes, I am LGBT and I fall in that category and I like my supporters and allies as well. And that's yeah. why we have these shows to talk about these things. So I really want to thank you for being here and talking with us. Is there anything else you'd like to add to the segment? No, I just want to, you know, mention, I think it's really important that if you support LGBT equality, you support marriage equality, it's important to support the legislators and even, you know, call the ones who do support these issues you care about and tell them that you're, that you, thank you, tell them thank you. Um, Representative Brian Sims, Representative Dan Frankel, myself, you know, it's important for as much as you oppose something or want somebody to, to know that you're um, supportive of something, it's always important to connect with the folks that are on your side and are in your corner and just say thanks. So, And, and you're absolutely right. And I want to say to the viewing audience right in front on TV on Gay Life Television, thank you for being an ally. Your work is going to transcend, and you are in the beginning of a real history of movement. Thank you. Thank you.